and we call that a record analyzer. It's a tool made by CDAC which can import and analyze CDR or TAU CDR logs of any service provided in India and generates a comprehensive report of frequency statistics including service provider details and subscriber details of CDR numbers. Here comes Advic CDR Analyzer version 3.5. The new version of Advic comes with efficient memory usage, miscellaneous performance enhancements together with a number of new features. In this tutorial, we would see the new features of Advic 3.5 from the previous released version at week 3.2. Let's have a look at it. Let's start from main window itself. The new CDR gallery on the top left side will let you search or filter CDRs present in the case based on a CDR name or a number you given as input in a search box. Now let's see how these CDRs are getting populated in the main grid. On the middle portion of the main window, we could see Two grid views such as summary grid and call details grid where the new summary grid view will show the brief of selected data. In this example, after selecting the case from CDR gallery, we could see data arranged in summary grid in a table structure based on distinct CDR numbers and call types. This new summary grid view will help to take reports easily and also help avoiding the unnecessary records to be added into the application. It is very easy to add data from summary grid to report. It could be done through a simple right click on the summary grid view and by choosing export to report after that. The tool should ask you to add user comments for distinguish it later. Kindly enter the comment and click add button. If the process is successful, user will be notified with a message box showing report record is added successfully. The added or exported record can be used for creating reports later. You can see that right now itself. These reports can be found in generate report list, which could be seen by clicking report from toolbar menu on top of the window and choosing generate report from it. From there, an analyst could decide whether the chosen report records should be added to report or not by activating or deactivating checkboxes against the reported record list entries. And finally, an analyst can save the report as an HTML file by giving a file name or can print directly from the generate report window itself. Summary grid is also very much effective in case of field days. Let's see the newly added field days, suspect calls and cluster calls. Let's see how new summary grid is helping the analyst to understand the new suspect calls and cluster calls field days easily. Here, after applying the suspect calls filter from filter gallery, we could see the number of suspects and suspect numbers present in a particular CDR in summary grid in a table structure. Let's do apply one more filter to the data called cluster calls. Here we could see that summary grid meaningfully changed its table structure and cluster calls were sorted based on the cluster header node followed by number of nodes CDR numbers respectively. An analyst could filter data in the summary grid view based on all its attributes. For example, Let's group the cluster calls based on CDR or tower CDR number column. For that, we have to hold header part of the CDR tower CDR column using left mouse click and should drag it into the upward portion. Here we could see the summary grid is grouped based on CDR. For going back to the previous state, we have to hold and drop the item to outset. An analyst can easily analyze data using such features. Analysts can use this summary grid to choose some specific data or can apply different conditions by clicking the tunnel icon attached to each column header. If necessary or need to perform further operations, 
and analyst could see the detail of brief information in the summary grid by clicking the show call details button. In the call details grid also, you can perform various filter operations by clicking the down arrow icon attached below to the column header and by choosing the required data checkbox or by simply typing the required data values in the white text box along with it. An analyst can apply more condition into it by clicking the align paragraph icon and by choosing the appropriate items from it.